Out is the story of a young man named Greg who is getting ready to leave his small town and move to the big city with the love of his life. It's a very silly, very magical coming out story about a boy and his dog and his boyfriend and his parents. <laughs> this is terrible. I'm really bad at pitching. I'm from Chatham, Ontario, Canada. It was a small town. It's just a small town in the middle of nowhere. Being gay, growing up in the 80s, there wasn't a whole lot of LGBT representation in media. For us, it was like, it was just bad. It was just a thing that was bad. And there was nothing around to tell me like, this is who you could be. You're a nerd, nerd in a small town. Star Trek, especially for me, was like, oh, that's a world where it's okay to be different. Twilight Zone was a huge thing for me. I love the idea that you could do anything in a Twilight Zone. So this is sort of like a little gay Twilight Zone. I wanted to create stories for me when I was a kid, you know, like something where I could have went, oh, okay, I, I see myself in that. This was very much an exploratory project as we were making it. In the same way that I think this story is a lot about trying to find yourself and share who you are with the world, that certainly reflected itself in the process of making it and coming up with a look for the film. How would a painter create these images? When they first started developing the look for it, it was one of the first things they asked me to go, well, why this look? Why this look for this film kind of thing? And I was like, oh, let me think about it. <laughs> so I went but it really, it was really like, for me, I wanted to tell it, I wanted the children's books kind of look to this thing. I wanted to do something that was just a little simpler, a little looser, a little freer that I could make mistakes in. Does that make sense? Like I wanted to be able to like, have it not be perfect, but still tell the story it needed to be, that needed to be told. It's how you feel the hand. You don't see the hand, but you mm -hmm. feel the hand. You, you feel the history of it. Exactly. To find its yeah. way, right? It's the tear, yeah. tears in the, the image, the imperfection, yep. the texturing. You sit down and try to tell your own story and you quickly realize like, wow, I've never drawn two guys hugging one another and talking about love. Drawing that, I was like, holy crap, I've worked here 22 years. I've never drawn that. Like, I get so emotional when I think about it. And then we go on to the mocap stage to do that, the layout for that shot. And I have two guys in suits on the mocap stage. It was this weird moment. And I went, whoa, <laughs> like, I've never seen that before. Two guys in mocap suits in love and laughing. <laughs> I think people are really excited. I think they're honored to be a part of this film and a part of this process. I think we all recognize that it is new territory for us. There are folks who are working on this film who have gone through similar experiences as Steve, not the exact same, and so I think they find a lot of personal connection to it. I think we all find personal connection to this story in different ways, just the way that we communicate with our parents or our loved ones or with our friends. He thinks it's so easy. Just look them in the eyes and say, Mom, Dad, I'm... There's the story that he's telling, right, which is his coming out story. But then he's doing it through this amazing piece of art. And it's his first own film, which in a sense is coming out again and saying, hey, here's a piece of art that you've never seen from me before. So it's something new that I'm sharing with the world because it's a piece of me that I've like hidden, it's like this nugget of yourself that you've kept inside. And so I think there's something to like getting it out and just telling your story that is really healthy. So I'm glad I got a chance to do it. Thank you.